All right guys, in this video I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install an aftermarket car stereo. We're going to be putting a Bluetooth audio receiver in this Honda CRV, and uh, we've got a special guest. Uh, we're gonna have KJ. Yeah! He's 11 years old, and he is going to be installing the car stereo on this unit for you. So I'm going to give him the instructions on how to do it, but he's gonna do it. So hopefully, by me teaching him how to do this, I'll also be able to teach you guys. If you've never installed a car stereo, this is the video you want to watch. Yeah. All right, guys, we got KJ here. Have you ever installed a car stereo before, KJ? No. No? What? I can't believe it. So this is his first time installing a car stereo. So if you guys haven't put one in, let's hope this guy can. Okay, so what we've got here is a Sony Bluetooth uh, audio receiver. It's basically just a real basic AM FM radio that's going to allow us to be able to hook to our cell phone. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is get the radio pulled out of the CRV and we're going to show KJ how to do that. All right, you ready for this, KJ? Yeah. All right. In order to get this radio out, you've got to take this bezel out around. Pretty much all cars are going to have some kind of bezel around them that you have to remove. All right, KJ. So you've got to find the screws that hold this on, all right? And they're going to be right up under there, right there. Start by removing those screws. All right, good job. Now take the screw and put it right here. And we'll put our screws and stuff right there. So pry that uh, face plate off there so we can get the radio out. Stick that up under there and then pull out. Just kind of pull kind of strong. Go, yeah, go onto that one side right there. There you go, now go to the other side. Ah, oh, good, perfect. Baby pop right off of there. All right, KJ, so now you've got to undo that little connector right there. Okay, good. It has a little clip right there that you push this and then that slides out of its little uh, connector there. Okay, so now it's time that we unbolt the radio. So you've got a screw here, a screw here, one here, and one here. KJ went and grabbed an impact driver there. He's going to put an eight millimeter socket on the end of that. And let's go ahead and take those screws out there, KJ. Nice. Okay, so what do we have back here? We've got a couple connectors. You can see you've got to push this little lock tab, and then you've got to push this little lock tab. KJ's fingers aren't quite strong enough there, so he's gonna use a screwdriver. We'll show you guys how to do that. Basically, just push it in there, and then we'll pry it up. Good job, KJ. Okay, so you're gonna to need to do the same thing with that white one there. Okay, now take your other hand and pull up. Good job. Okay, so this cable right here, this is going to be your antenna. You're going to need to pull that out. You can just pull that out with your hand. Just pull it straight out. Good job. All right, so KJ's got the radio out there. Now we're going to wire up the new radio. So what you need here is a radio wiring harness. This is specifically for Hondas and Acuras. This will make the job go a lot easier. To wire this up, you basically just match the colors up. These harnesses make it super easy and quick to do. So this is the harness that goes in the back of the radio. Basically, this little harness here uh, comes with the radio, and this just plugs into the back of it here. This little adapter here, now this blue connector plugs into that blue connector in the car. Basically, you just plug that right in, and uh, what we're going to do is wire these two harnesses together. So if you didn't have this, it would be a lot harder to do. However, if the cable is cut, I do have a video that shows you step-by-step -step how to wire a radio without one of these. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. It also tells you on the back what each wire is. So each color is a specific thing, like the black is the ground, the yellow is the constant power, the red is the switched power, this orange wire here uh, hooks up to the dash lights so that when you turn your car lights on on the car, it dims uh, the dash lights and it'll dim the radio. Uh, the rest of these wires are mostly speaker wires. So the uh, white wires are the front left, the gray are the front right, 
the green is the left rear and the purple is the right rear. And then you can see it has this little blue wire here. The blue wire is for like, if you have a power antenna, one of those antennas that move up and down, uh, this will send electricity to that uh, power antenna. Um, this car doesn't have a power antenna. This would also be used for uh, cars that have like an amplifier in there uh, that amplifies the speakers. This wire will turn that amplifier off and on when the radio goes off and on. This car doesn't have a power antenna and it doesn't have the amplifier, so this wire won't be used. Uh, the rest of the wiring here we will be using. I lied, just about every wire on here we're going to use except this radio does not have the ability to hook up to the orange wire so it can't uh, dim the, the radio lights uh, when you turn the radio on. Most car stereos are going to have that orange wire. Um, in this case, uh, we're going to cap this wire off. So any wire you don't use, it's super important, whether it be on the car side or on the radio side, that you cap these off so nothing in the uh, back of the radio is going to touch and uh, short out. With these harnesses though, it's super easy. You don't have to memorize all the wiring colors like I do. Uh, you can basically just match them color for color. It's super easy to do. There's a couple different methods at connecting the wires. You can use these white caps, you can solder them, you can butt connector them. Uh, soldering is a lot harder to do and uh, with KJ here, uh, he would have to learn how to solder. These are super nice, you don't have to know how to solder. Butt connectors, uh, they're kind of nice, but you have to make two crimps versus one crimp uh, per wire. Uh, I prefer the white caps on this type of installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show KJ how to do this um, because it's kind of important that you, you do this correctly. Uh, I'm gonna take, uh, the ground wire here is a little bit longer than the rest. I'm gonna trim it down to the same length as the other ones. So I cut it there, and then you just take your automatic wire stripper or your wire stripper and uh, strip the wire back. Now it's important that you twist this wire tight, and then take your black one on the car side, and you twist this tight, and then what you're going to do is take, see this KJ? You're going to twist these together like this. So you just twist them so they're nice and tight, uh, this is going to allow you to make a good connection. Then you take your crimp cap, slide it over the top like that, hold it in place, and then it's important to have a really good set of crimpers, and you basically just crimp that down, and now you've got a really solid connection that's not going to come apart. And you basically just go through and do that uh, with all the colors there, and then you're done. All right, KJ, you ready to wire this radio up? Yeah. Yeah. So I always like to start with um, all the power wires. So I'll go and do the yellow one next. Go ahead and strip that back. KJ, you making this happen, bro? Mm-hmm. It kind of drives me crazy. I'll have to be honest with the hand coordination there. Your dad has done this for years and years and years. Thanks. And I forget that, you know, people that have never done it before just doing a simple wire connection like this can be kind of difficult. So that little thing right there is what you want to push the crimp on. Okay, KJ. KJ's doing the speaker wires now, and it's super important that you get the black stripe to the black stripe. So KJ's starting there with the purple uh, set of speaker wires, and he's starting with the black striped wire and getting that connected to the vehicle wiring harness. If you get those backwards and you do uh, the black stripe to the solid purple, it'll work, but it'll sound really bad. So make sure that you're looking really closely at the wiring and that you're getting the black stripe wire onto the black stripe. So in addition to having the harness, you do need to have a dash kit as well. Because um, as you can see, the aftermarket stereo is a lot smaller than a factory radio. Now these are kind of weird. You do have to kind of read the instructions a little bit. Sometimes the dash kits are very specific and it'll mount to just one car only. Uh, this one mounts to so many different vehicles that um, kind of makes it a little bit more of a pain. You've got to figure out... Uh, there's additional brackets uh, that we're sitting in here is it just kind of matches uh, the way that the factory radio mounts. Um, and then what you do 
is, let me show you KJ. So this is our aftermarket radio. It's gonna slide through. Um, it locks in uh, using this radio sleeve. All right, so this is kind of the radio lock. So what I'm gonna do is pry that back like that. Um, and I'm gonna do that on both sides. Uh, we'll pry that back. And now this sleeve is going to slide off of there. You can see that these locks here are kind of pried up. We need to push those down so that they're in like that. Now, when the radio slides back through uh, this sleeve here, it'll lock into place. So go ahead and push those back down like that. Okay, so normally what you'll do is you'll take this radio sleeve and then you slide it through the, the opening here. And uh, when you bend this up, that kind of holds it into the, into the dash kit. And then what happens is, is once this is basically installed inside the dash kit, this slides through it and then it locks into place and that's what holds the radio. That's how you'll normally do it. On this car, with this particular dash kit, there's kind of a second alternative that I think is going to work a little bit better. And we won't use the sleeve in this application. And what we'll do is we'll take and put the radio through the hole like this. You can see on the side of the kit, there's this opening here and these uh, little screw holes. Now the radio comes with some screws so that you can actually uh, just screw the side of the radio in like that. KJ's first radio. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so that locked into place. Now grab the antenna. If you don't plug this in, then your radio reception will just be staticky. Now you've got the radio plugged in, the antenna plugged in, go ahead and push those wires a little bit back in there. KJ, is the radio going to work? Mm -hmm. Put the key in. Turn it all the way forward without starting the car. There you go, right there. Now, whoa, it's lighting up, son. I think you did it. Do we have any sound? Does that do it? Oh, man. Way to go, bro. All right, man, let's get this thing back together. Okay. All right, let's get that bezel back in there. Go ahead and plug that little green connector in for the airbag. Boom, put the top in kind of first and snap it into its little snaps. Get it pushed in. Good job. Yeah, we did it. Turn that radio back on, let's check it out. Crank it up a little bit. guys thanks for watching that video i hope that helped you learn how to install your own car stereo and uh congrats to kj for his first stereo install uh that was a major plus man good job yeah like and subscribe and hope you have a good day yeah. i did it again i did it car stereo oh baby, do you